it's Christine Barger and today I'm going to show you how to use photos inside of TikTok. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for being here. Take a quick moment to hit that subscribe button, turn those notifications so you don't miss any upcoming videos, and if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for being part of the fam. Now, for those of you who do know me, that you probably saw my other video on how to do photos in photo templates. Well, after I posted that video, which I will put in the description below if you want to watch it, I got a lot of questions about, but what if I want to make photo videos outside of the photo templates? Like, what if I want to do it a different way? Or if I want to add photos to the end of a video? Or what if I want to do this? Or what if I want to do that? And I was like, ah, okay. Let's make another video. So that is what this is today. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, the easiest way I think to do photos in TikTok is to use photo templates and that's really easy. You can see in the other video. Also, I'll just show you quickly here. What you want to do is hit that little plus sign and then go to photo templates at the bottom and then you can choose whichever photo template you want and select your photos. Now, if you don't want to do a photo template, you can just hit that little plus button and then go to upload. Like you're going to upload a video and then choose photo at the top and then go through and pick your photos there. So maybe, whoops, maybe I want to choose, whoops, just choose the photo. And then I'm going to do slideshow at the top right. And when I hit slideshow, it's going to process and then it's going to make a slideshow for me based on how many photos I picked. And then it will do that. It's easy. You hit next. Oh, you can also change whether you want it to go side to side. You can just sw hit switch and it goes vertical up and down. So it'll rotate them up and down instead. Um, like that. Great. Or, uh, and you can add sounds, you can add filters, you could do all the things. So you hit next and then there you go. So that, I'm gonna discard that. That is an easy way to also do photos. It's a slideshow, it is not a template, but you can do up to 12 photos that way. Okay, so the other way that you can do this would be to go to effects, like you're going to make a video, and pick that little green button. It's I, usually under trending, but you'll find it. It's a little green button with the little thing there. You see I've got it selected. And then you can choose your photos up here. So I'm going to choose a photo. Now the thing is with this is like I'm in the video right now, and I'm in the photo. But if I want just the photo, all I have to do is step out of frame and it's just the photo and then you can record for however long you want. And then you can just hit that little green button again and change the photo. So you can just pick a new photo. So then I pick a new photo and I step out of frame and I hold it for as long as I want. And then when I watch it, it is just the photos. And you wanna add your sound and everything there too. So say that I wanna do a video and then I want to add photos. Same way that I just showed you. So you can just choose no filter, whatever. You can do your video, hey, I'm singing along with the song, yada yada. And then go to effects, choose that little green thing, pick a photo, get out of frame, hold it down for as long as you want. Oh, it's still recording now I'm in the picture, but you get the, the idea. So that way you could have the video and then you have the different photo slides after. So there you go. So in the case of you want to have a pre-recorded video followed by photos, then you want to choose a different video as your background from, okay, so go to effects. There's two of the green buttons of the TV. There's this one and this one. So the second one is a video. So you can choose a video for your background. So I choose the video. I step out of frame. I hold on the button. It's recording. Uh, then I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to choose a different background uh, for the photo. And then I'll pick a photo and I'll do the same thing and I'll hold it down. And then I'll choose a different photo, do the same thing, step out. And then when I play it back, it's the video. I'm not in that video. Like I'm not, 
I'm out of frame, and then it goes to the photos. That's probably best suited to do if you have a video and photos that you want to put on a sound with the app, but you could do it with your own sound, I suppose, too. Uh, it's up to you. And you know how to go in and add sound after the fact. So you're going to do all those regular techniques you would do. So there are the many different ways that you can add photos. You can use templates. You can use that backdrop where it's just the photos. You can do a slideshow or you can do a video and then do the photos background live. Or you could do a pre-recorded video and photos. And you could switch those around in different orders too because it's all done in the app. All right, I hope that that answers all of your questions that you have about how to edit videos inside of TikTok with photos and not having to use any outside editors. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications. Um, if you have any other questions about photos in, in TikTok, hit me up in that description or that, um, the thing below the comments. Wow the comments below. Hit me up in the comments below and let me know uh, and I will make another video if I know the answers. Uh, Alright, thanks so much for watching and go be a light in the world. Mm -hmm.